Employees and companies in the nation are about to experience another major change at work. Maximum working hours per week is reduced to 52, a system that's designed to improve quality of life. Wang Zhenghuan sheds light on the benefits as well as possible repercussions. The South Korean government is expected to bring a change to Korea's work-life balance as the country kicks off its 52-hour maximum work week system starting from July 1st. The new change, effective for businesses with more than 300 employees, limits Korean workers to work less than 52 hours per week, down from the previous 68-hour system. The new 12 hours of extra overtime will now include the previous 16-hour slot that was used for weekends or public holidays. To enforce the system, the government will find business owners who do not follow the new rules. And according to an expert, the reduced working hours will bring a significant change to the public's health. Many critical diseases such as cardiovascular disease, which threaten the health of general workers, are due to long working hours. So I think the 52 working hour limit will be a dramatic change in improving the health of workers. While many big businesses, which have been bracing for the system for the past few months by hiring new workers and overhauling their working hour system, are expected to adopt to the new system without much of a hitch, the problem lies with small and medium-sized companies, as they have been facing a variety of difficulties, including trouble hiring new workers and adopting flexible hours to meet employees' particular needs. Given the circumstances, the government is implementing a six-month grace period for companies to slowly adapt to the change. Also, for a smooth transition across the whole South Korean labor market, the government has given a bit more time for smaller firms to implement the rules. Companies with 50 to 300 workers should implement the regulations starting January 2020, and those with 5 to 50 employees should do so by July 2021. But some have voiced concern about possible side effects, saying the new regulations could force some people to look for part-time jobs to supplement their reduced earnings due to the shorter amount of available overtime work. On the labor side, uh, they may get a substantial cut in pay. Um, because uh, by Korean law, you get 50% uh, overtime extra pay uh, when you're working uh, beyond 40 hours a week and 50 to 100 percent extra pay uh, when you're working overtime during the weekend. Uh, when you cut your working hours from 68 hours to 52 hours, that you're cutting basically the most lucrative time of your work week. So a lot of uh, workers are going to get their uh, pay cut and a lot of labor uh, does not like that. As the system has just been adopted, there will inevitably be some confusion and issues to iron out. So the government needs to work closely with workers and employers to mitigate any adverse effects of the policy in the coming years. Wang Zhongwan, Arirang News.